بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين My dear respected brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته إن شاء الله تعالى today I want to give you an update on the major maintenance projects that we've worked on in 2021 with a focus on our front entrance canopy project that is ongoing inshallah ta'ala so this is a list of the major maintenance projects for this year alhamdulillah we have been working on the front entrance canopy and that started this year Alhamdulillah Rabbi Ameen, we completed the masjid roof replacement in 2021. We are doing the landscaping and sprinkler system project and that was started this year. We have also started the masjid one-way drive-through project and we have started the masjid new carpet replacement. We have placed the order but the install is now deferred to next year inshallah ta'ala. So this is a list of the major maintenance projects. There's a lot of daily and activities and maintenance uh, repairs that are done by our maintenance team may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them but this is a list of the major ones that we've been working on before i get into the projects i just wanted to touch on the process that we use to award these uh, major maintenance spend so for any spend that's about five, above five thousand dollars the following process is followed we assign an hia project coordinator we define a clear work scope. We approach the city for the necessary approvals. We get the locates uh, for doing digging outside. We get those completed. And we complete our, our safety paperwork and necessary paperwork in order to be able to start the project. We also obtain three quotes from reliable and reputable contractors. And then our maintenance team assesses the quotes and makes a recommendation to the HIA board. The recommendation is reviewed with the board and a decision is made on who to award the contract to based on experience, cost, schedule, and level of professionalism. So these are criteria, experience, cost, schedule, and level of professionalism. In regards to the front entrance canopy project, so like I mentioned, Alhamdulillah Rabbi Amin, it was started this year. Our masjid is Alhamdulillah approaching 30 years old and with age, things need to be maintained and renovated and, and uh, repaired. And the front entrance canopy did start to show clear signs of deterioration uh, around the base of the columns about two years ago. We did uh, put together temporary scaffolding supports to hold the canopy in place so that we ensure that it's safe to use. We engage the city for a permit to rebuild the canopy. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Amin, a permit was obtained at the end of July of 2021. Codes were obtained to complete the work as per the permit, which we're calling phase one, and also to convert the can canopy into an indoor space, which is phase two of this project. So the project has two phases. Phase one is to rebuild the canopy as it used to be and then phase two is to convert it into an indoor space where inshallah ta'ala will have a nice shoe rack a nice coat coat racks an indoor space that is big enough for us to be able to get in and out of the masjid versus the the current limited space we did select adi uh, where they are a major developer here in the city of burlington to implement the work uh, brother saud may allah reward them and his team they're doing the job at cost with no overhead or profit to, to their company. And they are providing a lot of services and materials for free. And their estimate was about 49% lower than their competitors for phase one of the project. Brother Fouad Manna, uh, he is a member of our maintenance team and he is the HIA project coordinator on this project. The work is alhamdulillah ongoing and we expect completion to be in February of the coming year, inshallah ta'ala. The total cost estimated at 189,453. This drawing here shows you uh, renderings of what we uh, are building, inshallah ta'ala. So at the top here, you'll see phase one. So we're rebuilding the structure with the top here being stucco material and the bottom here being stone veneer. And after phase one is completed, inshallah ta'ala, it would look something like this, where we've got windows on the sides and two major 
openings to enter um, uh, to the masjid. Phase two of the project is we do want to enclose the, the windows as well as the door openings and have nice doors here and convert the space to an indoor space. So it'll have proper heating, proper insulation, drywall. It'll have, uh, like I mentioned, shoe racks, coat racks. It'll be in, in, uh, a nice addition um, to our masjid, inshallah. Ta in terms of exterior finish, that's kind of what we're going for. This is a picture for illustration. So stecco finish on the outside with stone uh, veneer at the bottom. So something that will look very presentable, inshallah ta'ala, and, and uh, nice as we enter the masjid. As I mentioned, the project is ongoing. You can see from the pictures that we've demolished the canopy. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. You can see that we've dug, dug deep. We're, we, we had to dig about eight feet deep to remove the, the old uh, cinder blocks that were supporting the foundation. Um, they were quite deteriorated in certain areas. And as such, uh, we had to go deep and it was all removed. And inshallah ta'ala, we're poor proper foundation and, and uh, a proper setup for the entrance, inshallah. So this shows you that the work is ongoing and we're progressing well, alhamdulillah. In terms of schedule, this is the schedule for the completion of the work. You'll see that um, we did start the work here in early November. This details out all the, the items that need to be completed. So alhamdulillah, we track it very closely in terms of demolition, in terms of disposal, in terms of ordering material, in terms of arrival, in terms of installation. So you'll see the details of, of each of the tasks here, the number of days it's supposed to take, and um, a breakdown in terms of timeline and completion, inshallah ta'ala, is scheduled for the end of February of 2022. On this slide here, we have the cost. So this gives you a good breakdown of the cost. So as mentioned, there's two phases to this project. One is to rebuild it the way it used to be. And the second phase is to convert it into an indoor space. So in order to, to rebuild, demolish it and rebuild it, the total cost is 117,783. So that's 16,700 for demolition, 3,000 for shoring and scaffolding, 15,000 for concrete work, 30,000 for structural steel, 22,000 for masonry and, and stone, 16,900 for stucco and the drywall, 7,000 for full electrical for both uh, outside and inside, and safety fencing and cleaning is 6,000. And you'll see that compared to the other quotes, our brothers from ADI are not charging any supervision or overhead cost. And they're helping us um, using their, their strong relationships with their trades to get um, very competitive pricing on, on the items that are required. Phase two of the project, inshallah ta'ala, is to convert it to an indoor space. So the interior finishing, you know, the drywall, the glass, the ceiling, the painting, turning it into an internal space is estimated at 31,000. Aluminum windows and doors, that's at 20,000. And we're going to be issuing bids to try to reduce that cost, inshallah ta'ala. We've got 5,000 for petty mats. So those are the mats at the entrance. So we don't, the water doesn't make a mess um, as it's used to historically. Some $1,000 for, for carpentry work, um, temporary heating for, for stucco installation is about 10,000. But we are looking to see how we can cut down on this cost. And depending on the time of the year we do it, we were hoping to eliminate that cost. And we've got some other costs here for washroom setup for the workers, garbage bin and disposal. And we had budgeted for a site office, but um, we, the city approved the setup that we had. So we didn't need to, to bring a site office here. So that was waived. So all throughout, alhamdulillah, we're trying to cut as much as we can and bring the project in uh, at or below cost, inshallah. So Alhamdulillah, I mean, we have raised $30,000 for the front entrance project. And inshallah ta'ala, the goal is to raise another $60,000 by the end of December of this year. So we ask that you please donate generously to help us cover the cost of this necessary project. We are rebuilding a section of the masjid. This is the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us, 
then Allah lahu baytan fil jannah. So if we participate in the building of the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah ta'ala Allah will build for all of us a house in jannah. So this is your opportunity and my opportunity to participate. So I encourage all of us, you know, if the amount is small or big, but make sure that you do contribute towards the rebuilding of the entrance to the masjid inshallah ta'ala. Also, if you do donate before the end of the year, inshallah, your donation, uh, you will receive a tax receipt towards it. It will be eligible for a tax receipt for 2021, inshallah. So I hope that gave you a good overview of the front entrance uh, project. Um, I'll touch quickly on the, the other projects that uh, were happening in 2021. So the Masjid Roof replacement, the Masjid Roof had started to leak in Ramadan uh, of 2021. We did an assessment by several contractors and they all indicated that the roof had reached its end of life and needed to be replaced. We did do a temporary roof repair to stop the active leaks so we don't damage the, the internals of the masjid. We obtained three coats to replace the roof. Brother Faisal, our maintenance team lead, did an outstanding job on this project and he was the HIA coordinator for this project. Uh, we did review the coats and we selected um, the, uh, a good vendor to implement. And the work, alhamdulillah, was successfully completed with a total cost of 58252 This here shows you uh, pictures of our new roof. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fill it with barakah and make it last for us for, for another 30 and 40 years, inshallah ta'ala. The next project here is the landscaping and sprinkler system project that was started in 2021. I'm sure you've all noticed the grass and the landscaping around the masjid have been an eyesore for several years now. Uh, Brother Khattab and his team are doing an amazing job trying to maintain the grounds. Uh, they do a lot of the work for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, our sprinkler system is, is no longer functional and this has resulted in many trees that have died and the grass doesn't look very healthy. So it's not a good representation um, for us to use as a community and it's not a good representation for us as a Muslim community, uh, part of the larger community. So we did do an assessment by several contractors and they all indicated that the sprinkler system needed to be replaced. We obtained coats to replace the sprinkler system, to install new grass and to plant new trees around the masjid. And Brother Faisal, our maintenance team lead, um, may Allah reward him, he's the HIA project coordinator on this project as well. We did receive the coats. Um, the sprinkler work, alhamdulillah, has started in 2021. So we installed all the lines. And inshallah ta'ala, it will be completed in 2022. So all the sprinkler heads will be installed in the new year. Alhamdulillah, I mean, we have planted 50 new trees around the masjid. So when you come, you'll see um, some, some nice trees, alhamdulillah, that have been planted. The grass has all been removed. Um, around the, the grounds of the masjid, and inshallah ta'ala will put new sod and new grass in the new year. So the total cost of this project is $85,000. This includes the sprinkler system, the trees, the grass. As well, we're going to be doing interlocking on the high traffic areas around the masjid. There are about six or seven areas where there's a lot of foot traffic, where the grass tends to die, and it, it, uh, it doesn't look good, and it turns muddy. So inshallah, we'll be doing some nice interlocking designs around the masjid so that it's um it's good for the use that we want and is very presentable so that is that cost is included in in the total inshallah and we are working to raise funds to cover the cost of the project so in conclusion alhamdulillah i mean we are working hard to maintain our masjid so please i ask that you donate generously to help us cover the cost of all these maintenance projects you can donate at masjidhalton.com slash donate. You can give with cash, credit card, e-transfer, check, whatever means is easiest for you, inshallah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala greatly reward you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make your donation a means for you to gain his pleasure and to enter Jannah, ya Rabbi, ameen. With that, I conclude. Jazakumullah khairan. My objective here was to show you that, alhamdulillah, there's a lot of work that's happening in the background, a lot of effort by by our, our maintenance team, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala award them. We ask for your dua, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to unite our hearts and grant us all success. Jazakumullah khairan, barakallahu feekum, assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.